Hi everybody, my name is Laszlo Leber. Welcome to my channel Coaching. Today I will show you how can you use Jest and Enzyme to write unit tests in a React application. You know Jest is a test runner, an assertion and mocking library, and Enzyme helps to interact with the elements, find them easily, and it uh, has some additional utility methods for rendering components. So let's get started. You can find the starter project under my video. So please download it and unzip to any place on your computer. After you unzip it, please open it in VS Code. After you open the project in VS Code, please run npm install in the root directory. It is for frontend. It will install the frontend's dependencies. And after that, please uh, go to the backend test folder and run npm install there too. After that, you can test the backend and frontend applications. So in the backend test folder, please type node server.js and in the root folder, type npm start command to run the frontend application. After frontend and backend application started, you can test it in your browser. So as you can see, my application is running. It can get the car list from the backend on port 9000. After that, you can stop the both applications. And before we test our uh, car list component, I will tell some details about the component that how it's working. So we have a car list. We use uh, React Async and the use Async hook to get the cars from the backend. If uh, it's loading, we only render a fragment, uh, and if the loading is finished, we render the car list in our car list component. We have an action get cars, which will dispatch another action, which will be used by the reducer to modify the state. And as you can see in the reducer, uh, we modify the state with the payload of the get cars request. And there is another part of our reducer, the remove car, which will remove a car by, by an ID. In this application, we use the React uh, context API. Basically, we have two contexts, one for the state and one for the dispatch, and we create a car provider to use these two uh, context. Uh, we have a car state context provider and we have a car dispatch uh, context provider and uh, we put this car provider around our car list component. For the requests uh, we use Axios. I have a video about how to use Axios. You can find it on my channel and uh, in the service.js, we create a service using Axios and uh, we use this service in our action. As you can see here, we have some data test ID attributes on our DOM elements. Uh, this is because we would like to find our elements easily from tests, from our unit tests, so we need them. Okay, so we will use Enzyme for uh, rendering components. So please download Enzyme. Here you can find the command line in their, uh, their uh, official website. So copy this command and uh, paste it in your command line tool and uh, install Enzyme. Okay, now everything is ready to write our unit tests. The jest is provided by the create react app tool built-in. So the first step is to open the setup test.js in our src uh, directory. And in this file, we will set up the enzyme and its adapter. Okay, now create our first test file, create a new folder in our SRC directory. The name of the new folder is tests 
and create a carlis.test.js file in it. In the top of our test file, we import React, of course, we import the mount from Amzin, we import the car list and uh, the car provider, we import the set cars because we will mock our action, we will mock out our action basically. Uh, because this, we, the set cards should be exported from the action. And we import the user sync because we will mock out the user sync hook as well from the reactor sync package. Okay, so we would like to mock out the reactor sync's uh, user sync hook, so we should use jazz.mock reactor sync. And uh, because of the fact that uh, carlist use uh, our contacts, uh, it should be inside the car provider. So we create a new uh, component just for test. The name of the new component is car list with provider and uh, we return our car list inside the car provider. Okay, now create our describe block. It will contains multiple uh, tests inside of it. Okay, inside the describe, let's create two variables. The first is the wrapper and the second is the data is loaded. Uh, the wrapper will contains our rendered component and uh, the data is loaded uh, is a flag. We will use this to make sure that our uh, mocked action dispatch will run only once. In the carless component, the user sync hook runs the dispatch set cars only once. So if we mock out the user sync and we write a custom function into uh, it, we should uh, run the dispatch set cars only once as well. So this is the reason that we use data is loaded flag. Uh, the user sync hook returns the is loading uh, uh, so we should return an object uh, that is loading as well. At the end of the before each uh, section, we mount our car list with provider component and uh, store it in the wrapper variable. And uh, we use the before each because we would like to uh, run this logic uh, before each uh, test. Now let's create our first test case. The name of it is uh, displayed eight cars properly. Inside of it, we should check that uh, the wrapper is exists or not. Uh, if it exists, then uh, we uh, would like to find the car list. We use the data test ID attribute that uh, I have mentioned before and uh, we expect that the car list exists and uh, car list has uh, eight cars inside of it. Then we create an after each block. It will run after every test. Inside of it, we unmount our component and we reset our mock. Then we are ready. Uh, oops, here is a mistake. We should set the data is loaded inside the mock implementation to make sure that the dispatch set cars will run only once. After that, we can run our test with the npm run test command. As you can see here, my first test is passed. Here you can see the result of the test. Let's create another test case. We will check that the delete buttons work perfectly. So our new test case uh, description will be delete a car with delete button. In this test case, we check that the wrapper is exists and uh, we try to find the delete button. 
On the delete button we simulate a click and uh, after click uh, you know the the car should uh, disappear from the list so we expect that uh, the car list uh, has only seven cars inside of it so we use expect wrapper find data test id car list and uh, on this element we try to find the data test id cars and uh, the length of them should be equal to seven run the test again and uh, you can see that our two test cases uh, passed you can use the debug function on the elements so if uh, if we console log that delete button debug you can see the uh, dom structure of it okay now we will cause a test failure so replace the 7 by 4 in the delete a car with delete button uh, test case and uh, you will see that uh, our test will fail so run the tests again yes here you can see that our test failed uh, and here you can see that we expected four cars but we have seven okay thank you very much for watching you can now use jest and enzyme to write unit tests in a react application if you like my video please subscribe to my channel you will find many interesting contents on my channel in the future so keep it up guys and thank you very much again, bye.